855 on your Friday morning. 74 degrees, Marty Bass. Going to be a nice day, going to be a nice weekend, going to be a summer like feel once we get into next week. Look at this hot, humid, hot, humid, hot, humid. The headline basically Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Other than a chance of an afternoon thunderstorm Monday, pretty darn good. Delightful the next two days, 81 this afternoon. Take it away, Sharon. Hi, Marty. Good morning, everyone. This morning's commute getting a lot better than it was before. Just a couple of problems left. Uh, one wreck in the city, West Pratt Street at South Smallwood. Also still looking at the cleanup from that wreck on 50 westbound at Cape St. Clair Road. As far as speeds go, we're still on the upswing up to 47 miles per hour now on the west side of the Beltway. Still looking at a pretty big delay, though, on the top side. 17, that one's actually going down. That will run from Bel Air to Providence. Here's a look at the west side, almost completely back to where it should be there at Liberty Road. Nicole. All right, Sharon, thank you. A line of severe storms moved through Maryland last night, spawning a tornado in Howard County and leaving behind a path of downed trees. Mike Shue shows us the damage. Good morning. The path of this tornado was very narrow, a half block in either direction, no damage. But here, a line of trees down, including the one into this house. A woman was briefly trapped when this tree fell, branches poking into her room. Nearby, a commercial building had a roof pulled off. This was an EF1 tornado with winds between 86 and 110 miles an hour. I'm Mike Shue reporting from Columbia for WJZ. Stay with WJZ. More news and weather for you is coming up today at noon. You can find the latest local news and weather at WJZ.com. Happy Friday, everyone.